I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. In this video I'm going to talk about how to add and subtract in binary. Let's start with addition. For addition there's only four cases that you really need to know. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 2, which in binary is 1, 0. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, an example. So we're going to add together 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and we're going to add to that 1, 1, 0, 0. All right. So we'll look at the first column. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1, or 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1, well, that's 2, which we put the 0 here and we carry over to this column. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which I didn't cover here, is 3. And the way that you represent 3 in binary is 1, 1. So I have a 1 here, I carry a 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, and this is a 0, 0, 0. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So these two added together equals this. All right, let's take a look at subtraction. With subtraction, we have a few things again. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 0 minus 1 is a special case which I'm going to get to. All right, so we're going to subtract 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Uh, 0, 1, and we're going to subtract from that this number here. All right, so 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. And now we have this case that I was talking about. So 0 minus 1, well, we can't do that. Here's how we do it. We take this, cross it out, we carry the 1. So this now becomes 1, 0. All right, well, that's 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now we have the same case again, but, well, there's nothing to carry here. So what I'm going to do is cross this one out, cross this one out, put a 1 here, and this becomes 1, 0. So 1, 0, 2 minus 1 is 1. And 1 minus 0 is 1. And so this is our answer here. All right. Well, that's all great. That's how we can do it on paper. But this is not the way that a computer can do it. Uh, so let's fix our ways a little bit. What we're going to have to do is uh, a complement of the number and there's two different ways to complement a binary number. There's ones complement, and there's twos complement. All right, and let's take a look at the number that we're subtracting before, which is uh, one. 1, 0, 0, 1. All right. To get, um, to do these complements, we have to first figure out how big is our register that we're going to be storing these values in. So to make it simple, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 uh, numbers. Let's make this an 8-bit register. Um, so we start out with a sign bit. And then we're going to have seven uh, bits that represent the value of the number. All right. So uh, to complement this, uh, actually, let me scoot this one over. So we're going to have one, zero, 
0, 1, uh, 1, 1. And then to fill it out, the other 7 bits, we have 5, 6, 7 bits. All right. To complement this number, using 1's complement, we just simply swap 0 for 1. And since we're saying that this is a negative number, we need to put this as a 1. If it was a positive number, this would be 0. All right. Now let's, con let's do the 2's complement. 2's complement is very similar to 1's complement, except that we just add 1. We complement it, then add 1. So sine bits 1 because it's negative, and we're going to add 1. So that becomes 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. All right. Now let's look at how we do a uh, problem again. So we're going to take the same problem that we did before, and this is going to be 1s, and over here will be 2s. And we had 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, minus this value. But what we're going to do instead is we're just going to add, and we're going to add the ones complement here. So uh, this is two, four, six, seven. We're just going to tack on an additional one. This is a positive number, so the sine bit will be a one or a, a zero. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. And then we're adding zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, one. Okay. And we just add this like regular. Uh, so 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. This equals 2. 1, 1, 1. All right. So something important to notice is that you need to observe the carry in to the sign bit, which is this column here, and the carry out of the sign bit. If they are the same value as they are here, then it's no problem. You're good. Uh, if they are opposite values, that one's a zero, one's a one, then you have a problem. Uh, you've had an overflow or an underflow, and so uh, you would need to deal with that in whatever way you deem necessary in your application. Uh, in this case, they're good. Uh, with a one's complement number, when we have a overflow, we have to bring that in and add it. So uh, wrap around carry. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and that is also 2. All right. So uh, if you go back in the video, you'll see that this is the same value as we had before. Now let's do this as a twos complement. So zero one zero one zero one. All right. Plus, and then we're going to add this number. Now the nice thing about twos complement is that as soon as you have finished it up, you're done. You don't have to worry about this this wraparound carry. So we'll just add it, and that's a zero. Um, all right, and as we had over here, you have to pay attention to the carry in to the sign bit and the carry out. If they are the same, it's good. If they're not the same, if they're opposites of each other, then you have an overflow or an underflow. In this case, they're good. Uh, with two's complement, just forget about that bit. This is your answer. And as you can see, it's the same answer as over here. So that's the two ways uh, to do uh, signed addition. And we didn't necessarily have to do a positive and a negative number. It works for positive, two positive numbers or two negative numbers. Uh, you just do the twos complement. Now let's actually let's take a look at one more case here. We're going to do the twos complement 
of something that's going to end up negative. All right, so let's take a simple case of 5 minus 7. As we know, that equals negative 2. And let's work with a 5-bit register. Uh, since 5 is positive, that'll be 0. And we have 0, 1, 0, 1. 7 is represented by 1, 1, 1 in straight binary. But since we're doing negative 7, we're going to take and put a 1 there. And then we're going to complement the values. And I'm going to do this in 2's complement. So I'm going to put a 1 there by adding 1. If I add these together, you notice that there's no carry in, no carry out. These two match, so we have no problem. There is no underflow or overflow. All right, and this is our answer, but it's not so easy to interpret. So let's take a look at what we have. We're going to, this is a twos complement uh, addition, and so I'm going to do just the same thing that I did uh, to make it a twos complement. I'm going to complement the bits, and then I'm going to add one. So that's zero, one, zero, zero. And right here, it's saying it's negative. And right here, it's saying that it's 2. Now, this is the correct answer for a digital system, but this is how we can interpret it as humans. So uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos on digital logic, check out uh, my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for robotbrigade.com. Yeah. <laughs>